Well, here is the a home that's part of the National Trust for Historic Preservation. It's called Shadows on the Tesh, erected for David Weeks, 1831 to 1834. They have tours here. Uh, tours begin at Shadows Visitor Center. Last tour departs at 4.30. Okay, you know, you're looking at the Shadows on the Tesh. It's uh, a property of the National Trust for Historic Preservation. And the National Trust is a nonprofit organization out of Washington, D.C. And uh, we're one of 27 of the properties that they have. The Shadows is only one of the properties in Louisiana that they own, you know. But they do own several along the East Coast. And what's your name? Yvonne LeBlanc. All right, Yvonne. Thank you. All right. Now, this home is... Uh, the Shadows itself, you know, it was uh, owned by four generations of the same family. We, Mary and David Weeks built the home. Construction started on the home in 1831. It was completed in 1834. And like I said, four generations of the same family lived in the home. Up until 1958 was Mary's great-grandson, William Weeks Hall. He uh, searched for an organization you know, throughout his lifetime that would accept the property and open it up as a museum because he knew all the treasures that his, his family left behind. When the National Trust acquired the property, they found close to 40 trunks up on the third floor. Those trunks were filled with textiles, documents. Uh, we probably have over 600 pieces of textiles in our collection and also 15,000 documents. So when you come to visit the shadows, what you hear is based on the information that was transcribed from the documents that the family left behind. Okay, as we walk behind the museum here, we're in the rear area. And the stones that are marking right here on this ground was the uh, location of the kitchen. You know, a long time ago, the kitchens were built away from the house, which was a great idea. You know, because if the house caught on fire, I mean, if the kitchen caught on fire, at least the house would have been safe. Now, uh, out back here, like I said, w William Weeks Hall designed the gardens that you see today. Because uh, surely some of the oaks that we have in the yard are very old and were planted by Mary. But a lot of the azaleas and boxwood hedges you see were all planted by Weeks Hall. And during his restoration on his home, this was a gift. This little gazebo was a gift from Richard Koch, the architect that he hired from New Orleans uh, to do the restoration on the house. And here is the back yeah, of the, the house. The house does consist of three stories. Where, you know, the public is only allowed to go in the first and second floor. Third floor is basically storage, but it's just as big an area as the you know, first and second floor up there. This room right here is called the pantry. You know, uh, the, the food would have been cooked outside in the kitchen. Once the food was done, it was brought in here into the pantry to be placed on platters and dishes and stuff to be carried over into the dining room where the family would have dinner. Okay, we're entering the dining room now. Um, like I said, the food would have been brought in from the pantry into the dining room here. Okay, the portraits on the wall we're seeing here is Mary Weeks. She was the original owner of the home, first generation, Mary and David Weeks. The portrait you see to the side isn't Mary's husband. It's her second husband, uh, Judge John Moore. But the story goes that David, he actually never had a chance to live in the home. As the home was being built, David went to New Haven, Connecticut to purchase things for the house, furnishings throughout the house, and also to seek medical treatment. But unfortunately, while David was in New Haven, Connecticut, he passed away and never was able to return home, you know, to see his house complete. But we do have invoices of the things that David did purchase while he was there. In this room, we interpret this room as an art studio today. Uh, because last generation, William Weeks Hall, Mary's great-grandson, he was an artist. And he, he used this room as his art studio. We have photographs showing Weeks Hall in this room with the same table. And, uh, and he also taught painting. He went to art school. Uh, and Weeks Hall was kind of a character. He liked to invite famous people to come to his home. And he had people sign his door right here. So, so he had people, Walt Disney came, uh, Walt Cecil Disney Busy Mill, came? see Mickey Mouse here, Walt Disney, Tex Ritter, uh, O'Reilly Bird. He had several people, because he wanted, you know, a lot of famous people to know about the shadows and uh, hopefully, you know, more people would, it would be more known. This room is the uh, children's room. 
Uh, considered this being the girls' room, the next room would be the boys' room more than likely. Uh, the portrait you see on the wall was Lily Weeks. And this was Weeks Hall's mother, Lily Weeks Hall. And she was eight years old at the time when this uh, painting was done of her. And also the dress that she's wearing in this portrait is the same dress that's on the bed that we have here. Okay, this room we're viewing now is uh, the parlor. And you know, a long time ago, when, you, when they had visitors to come visit, they would have probably entered, you know, came upstairs and entered and visited in the parlor here. Uh, the paintings on the wall that you see here were done by Adrian Persak. And he painted several of the properties along the bayous. And we have the front view here. It looks a little quite different, but a long time ago, they would whitewash the brick. The portraits you see in here on the wall, the four portraits are of Mary's children. The one above the mantel is Charlie Weeks. He was the youngest of the children. And in the corner here is Alfred. Well, that was one of her older sons. Okay, we're in the master bedroom now. Uh, in this room, we do we do know for sure of some of the furnishings that David did purchase while he was in New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, this room off to the side was called the sitting room and more than likely when Mary's children were small her children would have probably slept in this room right next to her but throughout the years the family used the sitting room for their entertainment also too. <laughs> 